Hello YouTube, this is Phantom Roy, and welcome to Mad Madness. In this tournament, it's win or go home and anything can happen. It's an AFC matchup today in Lincoln Financial in Philadelphia. So who you got in this one? Let us know in the comments below before the game and subscribe to follow the action as it happens. So without further ado, it's the Steelers, it's the Browns, it's Mad Madness, and it's time to get going. Jabril Peppers will be back to return the kickoff. And the Browns are fresh off a win, their first win in about in, in about two years or so. They won 14-7 over the Bengals. And they did win, but they almost let them back into the game, giving up uh, one touchdown late, and they scored two touchdowns in total quickly. But then they stagnated for the rest of the game. So to win, they're going to have to be way better on third down. They were one for six last week, last round. And out comes Deshaun Kaiser, who performed last week pretty well two touchdowns no picks in their 14 to 7 victory over the Bengals and this is really sort of the dark horse of the NFL and Mad Madness this is a real test here they beat the Bengals which is arguably one of the easiest teams in the NFL to beat um, but Kaiser as he steps back to throw an incomplete pass. Here's the Browns offensive line. Joe Thomas, world famous, Josh Gordon, their star wide receiver who's been battling drug issues, has finally made it back to the field. So second and ten now. Four receivers. Kaiser in the shotgun. Kaiser. QB draw. And slides down after a gain of about nine. Third and one coming up. I think it was a designed quarterback run. So third and one, Kaiser under center, hands to Crowell, who, I'm not sure if he got there, he didn't, they're going to say fourth and inches, and so on their first th third down of the game, the Browns cannot convert. And the Browns will punt. Justin Colquitt to punt. And he punts it to Brown all the way down at 10. Who's able to run it out for a game of about 7? And that's where Pittsburgh will start their first drive. Ball's placed at the 17 as number 7 comes out. Big Ben Roethlisberger. He was okay in their last game against the Ravens. One touchdown, one interception. But that's one thing that the Steelers have to work on if they're going to want to uh, have a really good chance of winning Mad Madness. They turned the ball over twice against the Ravens, and they ultimately won. But the reason they won was because of a missed field goal attempt. That would have forced overtime. And... It's Cleveland this week, which they might not need to be so lucky, but it's not going to be this easy for forever. As Big Ben 
Gets a 15-yard rush. Channeling his inner Deshaun Kaiser. <laughs> so Cleveland gets a 9-yard pickup or so on a quarterback draw. And Roethlisberger is able to run it himself for a gain of 15. Three receivers. Ben throws over the sideline and hits Brown. So 15 yards on the previous play and 15 yards on this play. And the Steelers are marching. Just a simple curl route. And those routes work because the receivers trying to make the defender think that he's running right up the field going for the deep pass. But then he immediately stops and turns around, and that's when the ball's already being thrown to him. Really hard to guard it in the NFL if he can figure out a way to stop it. Bell. Gain of maybe one on his first carry of the game. And that sets up about a second and nine. And here's the Steelers' offense. Alejandro Villanueva. Bell, Ridley, Brown, James, and Bryant all around Big Ben. And they're going to say it was a gain of about nothing, so second and ten, actually. Four receivers for Ben. Showing blitz are the Browns. And they will blitz, and they will run with Bell. And Bell just refuses to go down. He must have contacted at least three, three, four, maybe even five defenders. And this Browns defense is actually not terrible. The Browns really need to just figure it out on, on offense because their defense, it's, a, it's kind of sneaky average, <laughs> I would say. And here comes the Steelers' first third down attempt of the game. Third and five, it will be. And if they can convert here, they'll be on the edge of field goal range at the very least. Four receivers for Ben, who's in the shotgun. Ben rolls to his right. Steps up. Throws on the run and hits Smith Schuster. And that's a that's gonna move the chains. He played that really close. He must have had maybe only one foot on the line of scrimmage, which makes it a legal forward pass. If you have any part of your body on the line, you're good. And he was. So they're in field goal range now as Big Ben comes out in the shotgun once again. Three receivers. Hands it to Ridley, the backup, who gets a good gain on his first carry. Gain of about seven. Second and three now. Just under two minutes to play here in the first quarter. Under center is Ben. Second and three to go. Hands to Ridley, who's blown up. Loss of two on the play. Miles Garrett. And the blocking sprung him on that previous play, but not this play. They ran right at Garrett, and Garrett was just able to spin around the defender and get him down. There's also another Brown in line for the tackle. So, third and five once again. We'll see if they can do it twice. Four receivers. Five receivers. Ben alone. Gonna throw. He does. He hits Rodgers. He's got the first. Gain of about 13. And that's gonna move the sticks. It was just a simple slant route. 
And the defender had a chance at the ball, but he was just kind of taken off guard. He might not have, might have lost where he was on the field. With under five seconds left to play, we'll see if they get this snap off before the end of the first. They won't, and so the second quarter is going to begin here in just a few seconds. 0-0, zero, zero. Steelers lead in terms of yards. All right, we're back. Ready for the start of the second quarter. As Pittsburgh has a fresh set of downs, they're on that magical 13 yard line where they can get pretty close to the goal line and still get an another free set of downs. So somewhere between the 13 and the 15 is the magical zone here in the red zone. McDonald in motion as Roethlisberger hands the bell out of the eye. And that's a gain of about four for Bell. Second and six coming up. So second, second and six here from the nine. You're on schedule, so you can do anything you want here. You can run, you can throw. We'll see what they elect to do here. They come out with a balanced set. Morning, they can do either. And they do hand it to Bell. And Bell takes a big hit at the line. Maybe they'll call it a gain of one. So the third, third, and five of this drive. See if they can convert here from the eight. Seven rushes of three passes. And Ben has not missed a throw yet, but they're showing a run. Instead, Brown in motion. Ben's going to throw. Rolls to his right. Incomplete. I think that was Ortavis Bryant in the area. So after that drive, Steelers are two for three on third down as they settle for an attempt to get three points. Boswell, the fourth killer B, some would say. Kicks it, and it's good. So Pittsburgh gets the first lead in this one, up three zip. Simple little chip shot. Be very disappointing to see him miss that one. And very surprising. So the Steelers have been pretty decent on third down so far in Mad Madness. Two for three in this game. And five for eight in their last. On the flip side, Cleveland's or yeah, Cleveland's gotta figure out how to get past that third down. One for six in their last game. And 0 for one so far. Sammy Coates coming out. Hot. And he drags the defender for an extra five yards past the 25 to the 30. So pretty good run by Coates. Sean Kaiser walks out onto the field. And he's trying to match this um, deficit or get ahead, get a surplus. They're going to break huddle with just about 20 seconds left on the play clock as Kaiser comes out in a running formation. Kaiser hits Crowell on the run, who's going to get maybe one yard. And they were lucky to get that as the Steeler was in the area, in the, back, in the backfield. Four receivers for Kaiser, who's in the shotgun. Kaiser. 
Rolls to his right. Hits Njoku. He's going to make it a third in inches. And the Steelers almost got to him again. The Steeler was in the backfield. <clears throat> he could have maybe reached out his foot to trip him up, but he was trying to regain his balance. He lost his balance at the exact wrong time. As another third in inches for Cro Crowell, and Crowell's got a big gainer, dodges a defender, and he's ultimately brought down at the 41. So Crowell's first big run of the game and the biggest play of the game so far. And he had a giant hole. Third and inches. I don't know. It's a it looks like the Steelers weren't anticipating the run. Very surprising. So first and ten now. Just under four to play in the second quarter. As the Steelers come out, showing blitz. Kaiser hands to Crowell up the gut, and he's taken down, but that looked like a pretty blatant face mask. Let's see if the refs agree. And it's Stephen, or Stephon to it. And just like that, Cleveland's in deep field goal territory on, on the edge of the red zone. So first and ten now. Running play likely here as Kaiser's under center. But he will throw. Kaiser rolls around. Hits his receiver for a gain of about three. They'll say two. It's DeValve. Hugh Jackson looking on now as his offense is having a much more productive drive than their previous. And looks like a false start now. Maybe not. Kaiser looks pretty happy. And Cameron Hayward. So after a really good first drive by the defense, they're really giving up some big plays now. So second and three now. It was a second and eight. And Cleveland can do whatever they want here. They can pass or run. Maybe a screen pass. We'll see what they do here. Just under three left in the second. Four receivers. Kaiser in the shotgun. And one more flag. I think they're going to have to step back now. And that's killer. You get a free five. And then a false start on the next play to get you right back where you were. Pittsburgh's got to be uh, breathing a sigh of relief at some level. So it's a wash. Second and eight once again. And we'll see if we can get the play snapped now, guys. Come on. Kaiser. Throws. Incomplete. Let his man a little bit too far. He was open. There was a shot. But it fell incomplete. So third and eight now. Browns are one for two on third down. Trying to make it two for three. Alone in the shotgun is Kaiser. Steelers expecting pass. Kaiser rolls. He panicked in the pocket hard, and that cost him with a sack. It's Hilton. And if you're Kaiser, that's 
That's a play that is going to have the coaches crazy. He had half time in the pocket. Rolls, rolls. He just had no idea what to do. And there was a man wide open over the middle of the field. Kind of by the numbers on the left-hand side. So Kaiser's nerves got the better of him on that play. And Fugel unit. But the two-minute warning will, in effect, try and ice him. So two minutes. Brown's trying to tie. All right, we're back. Just two minutes left in this speedy quarter as Cleveland's trying to match Pittsburgh's uh, opening field goal. Kicks away. And it's good. Cleveland has tied the game at three. And the Browns have done something that the Panthers and the Bears could not do in round two thus far, and that is avoid the shutout. So the Steelers will have a good shot here to have the last possession of the half as it kicks away deep to Toussaint who takes a knee and the free 25 as it's marched out to the 25 and so out comes the Steelers offense pretty good drive took a lot of clock off the board and they were two for three on third down but you want to be perfect on third down so good drive something to build on though as the Steelers have just under two minutes to get down there and try and get seven Browns have the ball first so Steelers will get the ball to start the second half as well Roethlisberger rolls to his right immediately he cuts up field and that final move might get him the first it looks like it will and the clock is running and they're running Bell, or Ben a lot more than <laughs> people his age usually run and he's not trying to slide either he's trying to get these first downs which I do like there's no injuries in Mad Madness so Ben has nothing to worry about here as a bunch of receivers to his left and Bell to his right He's going to throw here on the screen. He's going to hit Bell. And Bell's going to get a little bit of space. His first biggest play of the game so far. And he's tackled out of bounds at the 48. And Ben to Bell with Brown blocking. Somewhere on the field at least. <laughs> Killer bees are doing work. So minute 20 left, full timeouts for Pittsburgh as they come out with Ben alone in the backfield for receivers. Roethlisberger throws over the middle and hits Jesse James who takes it to from 148 to the other. It's gain of about three. They're going to hurry back to the line. Same formation. Roethlisberger. Incomplete. He had his man open over the middle, but ball, he just missed him. Third and seven upcoming. Their first third down of the drive. Two for three so far, trying to make it three for four. Three receivers. 
showing blitz are the Browns. They will not blitz. Dump off to Bell in the, out of the backfield. And that's going to that's gonna cause a fourth down. And based on the field position, Pittsburgh should punt this ball. Kind of a bad pass. Hits his back shoulder. Maybe if he hit, hit him kind of towards the chest, the other shoulder. Might have been able to catch that in stride and maybe run over a defender, but instead he get, the pass actually slows him down and he gets tackled in, uh, short of the sticks. So 20 seconds left. Buried a punt. And I don't think Cleveland's going to do anything with this drive. As the ball sails out at the 11, pretty good kick by Barry. And so the Browns will come out and likely kneel this thing. Or at least maybe do a ISO run or something like that. Something low risk. Four receivers. Kaiser to Crowell. And Kaiser's running up the gut. Oh, he almost broke free. Gain of 10. And Kaiser was running up the field with him. Trying to get a block. I like that. I like seeing that out of the quarterbacks. And Crowell was almost gone if he could have stayed on his feet. Steelers should be breathing a sigh of relief. So second and inches, they won't run a play, and that'll take us to halftime. So 3-3. Three, three. But in Madden Madness, there is no halftime. As we head straight to the third, where Pittsburgh is going to get the ball first and have the best chance of getting the first score of the second half. So Hugh Jackson should be pr pretty pleased with his defense. So far only giving up a field goal, but it's offense he should be a little bit frustrated with. Well, they did score on 50% of their drives, so not terrible, but he would like to see better for sure. Caught at the goal line, Toussaint runs it up, and he's knocked down for a four-yard net loss. And that could be a momentum or a tone setter for the second half. As the Steelers offense comes out now. So 3-3. Three, three. Anyone's ball game so far. And Cleveland who I expected to be out pretty badly in the first round, has hung around, made it to the second. And here we are at the start of the second half, and they're still in this game, so. Very impressed by the Browns so far. Roethlisberger to Bell. Bell, gain of nine. And that was the first real breakthrough that he's had in this one. Slipping past his own man through the little tiny hole. So second and one now. A lot of teams like to take a shot with this down in distance. Under center is Ben. Blitz coming. Blitz gets to him. Second and one turns into a third and ten. So... That was a huge play by the defense at the critical time. And it was a play action fake, so I think they're going to take a shot down the field. Yeah, two men were open too downfield. That rush didn't get there. That could have turned into a big game. 
So third and ten now. Steelers two for four. Trying to make it three for five. Four receivers, Ben in the shotgun. Bell to his right. Roethlisberger to Bell, and Bell's blown up. So they start out with a nine-yard gain on the first play and end up in this uh, set of downs with a fourth and 12. And I don't know what the play call thought thinking was there. I would definitely, if you're trying to anticipate the blitz, a screen would definitely work better. So fourth and 12. And Pittsburgh's going to punt it. So Cleveland's defense staying strong here at the start of the third. And Barry back to punt. Caught at the 23 by Peppers. And Peppers has a big return out to the 43. And just like that, Cleveland's got a good shot at getting a good score at the end of this drive as they get ready to start it. 4.43 at the 43, trying to make it more than 3.3. Three. So we'll see if Cleveland can capitalize on their excellent field position. Kaiser under center. Kaiser to Crowell. And Crowell can't make him make the defender miss as he's driven down after a gain of two, second and eight. And that's a good job by the Steelers defense. Not giving up the big run and tackling in one on one situation. Under 10 seconds on the play clock as they break huddle. Kaiser, immediate handoff to Crowell. And Crowell drags defenders forward to make it a third and two, so a gain of six on the play. And the Browns are one for four, or sorry, one for three so far. And they try to make it two for four. So third and two. Playbook's completely open. We'll see what they elect to do here. They will pass. Five receivers and Kaiser alone in the backfield. Steelers running a man coverage. Kaiser incomplete. Fourth and two. So the Steelers set some rocks in their pockets after giving up the big uh, punt return. And so Cleveland will have to punt. Colquitt kicks away, and the sails out of bounds at the 25. So not a great kick by Colquitt. So Pittsburgh comes back out on the field. And it just feels like one of those games where the next team to get a touchdown will win this thing as we get deeper and deeper into this game. Roethlisberger under center. Hands the bell up the gut, who's got maybe a yard on the first down play. And Pittsburgh is winning the time of possession battle as well as their yardage gained. But the score is dictated by points, not by yardage or time. So Pittsburgh needs to score here. Three receivers showing blitz are the Browns. And they will blitz. And a Bell. And Bell's taken down after another gain of one, maybe. So third and eight upcoming. This will be the Steelers' sixth third down of the game. Two for five so far. 
showing blitz are the Browns once again. And they will. Roethlisberger rolls to his left. He's got time. He's being pursued now. Throws on the run. And he's got James. Jesse James. Takes it down to the 31. So that's the biggest play of the game so far. So Ben, under pressure, finds his tight end, James. Throwing it across his body, too. Wow. And that's got to be just so frustrating for the Browns. They thought they had the sack and the ball, but instead it's a huge gainer. And Pittsburgh's in field goal range. Ben under center. Hands the bell up the gut, who gets about maybe a yard. And the Browns, honestly, have done a pretty good job of containing Bell. Now if they could just figure out a way to get a couple more incompletions, they'd be seeing the ball a lot more, a lot quicker. Just under 30 seconds left in the third. Ben under center, showing a heavy running formation. But he's going to throw instead. Rolls, throws, and hits Bell over the middle, who's wide open, and gets the first. So... That might take us to the end of the third with Pittsburgh likely to start the fourth with a field goal attempt, or uh, <laughs> with the first down play in the red zone. So. That'll take us to the fourth. Pittsburgh has the ball, driving, tied at three. All right, start of the fourth. Steelers have the ball on the edge of the red zone. And it's first and ten. Ben under center, showing run. Ben to Ridley up the gut. Gain of about five, maybe four. Second and six upcoming. And Pittsburgh is on schedule. And the clock will continue to run. So Pittsburgh ideally would love to run off as much time as possible on this drive. That, that way if they stop the Browns on the next one, they'll have the ball possibly for the last time to Bell. And Bell's driven down in the backfield for a loss of one. And once again, Bell's just not finding the gaps he needs. Third and seven, seven upcoming. Steelers are 50% on the day on third down. Three, four, six. As they come out for this third and seven. Ben under shotgun, or under center, I should say. Hands to Bell, and Bell doesn't get there. Gain of maybe four, but it's not enough. Fourth and four, and Pittsburgh will attempt another field goal. So I said earlier that the first team to get a touchdown could be the team that wins this thing, or will likely be the team that wins this thing. Pittsburgh had a good shot at it, but have to settle for the field goal. So Cleveland will have a chance to get that touchdown. Jones, kicks almost blocked, but it sails through. Boswell's good, six to three, Pittsburgh. And he almost got there. That would have been a huge momentum shift. Jackson looking on now. 
He must be licking his chops for that lead. Just under five to play as Pittsburgh gets ready to kick it away. And the kick is away. Peppers finds a hole and takes it up to the 31. So he's had a pretty good day so far on the return game. Kaiser's going to run out now. Just under five to play. And if Cleveland can play a perfect drive, this could be the last drive of the game. But the most important thing to the Browns should be just getting that touchdown. Three receivers, Kaiser in the shotgun, running back to his right. Kaiser rolls, steps up, he's got the first. Kaiser with the big run, and they're into Pittsburgh territory on that first play. I was wondering, like, what the Browns were thinking. It looked like there was no hole, but somehow he was able to squeak through, and he's gone. Blown right by TJ Watt. He's ultimately able to catch up to him. So in Pittsburgh territory. The Browns come out four wide. Kaiser throws, hits Njoku deep for a gain of about 24, 25 they'll say. And they're on the edge of the red zone. So Cleveland coming out driving. So they're not playing the time of possession game. They're trying to get this touchdown. Just under four to play. Kaiser flanked by two running backs in the shotgun. Kaiser throws. Hits Coates. Sammy Coates, and there's a flag down on the tackle. I think they're going to be really close to the goal line here after this play. already burns so it'll set up first and goal on the two and so Cleveland at the two is in the driver's seat can they get a touchdown and make this a touchdown game Kaiser under center, showing run. Kaiser to Crowell, and Crowell spins into the end zone. Touchdown, Browns! The Browns have taken the lead over the Steelers. They have the first touchdown of the game, and it couldn't come at a better time. And that extra point is important. It makes it a four-point game. So Pittsburgh will need a touchdown if they want to win this game. Unless they can get two field goals, I suppose. But a touchdown is very critical.
And if the Browns can hold on, this might be the biggest upset of Mad Madness to date. Pittsburgh, one game away from the Super Bowl, could lose to Cleveland, who has only won one game in the last two years. Bryant catches it in the end zone, and he runs up to the 20, where he's taken down. They'll call him down at the 21. So Pittsburgh's got to come out, down four. We'll see if they can regain the lead here late. And there's a flag down before the first play of the drive. And it's a false start. So Pittsburgh's really had an issue with penalties in this one. Three receivers for Ben and the shotgun. One in, first and 15. Ben steps up, throws, hits Schuster. Smith Schuster has the first down. It's a gain of about 18. First and 10 once again. And that was probably one of the biggest plays of the game so far. Because if you get an incompletion on first and 15, second and 15 is very difficult, especially late and down, to get a conversion. Two minutes and 40 seconds as Ben comes out in the balance set. Ben Roethlisberger throws toward the sideline. And they're going to say it's incomplete, only had one foot down. Two twenty-five left. So the clock stops after the incompletion. Second and ten. And Cleveland really needs one this one stop. And their chances of winning go up in a huge way. Ben throws. Hits James. Gain of thirteen. First and ten once again. And we'll see if they're able to run another play before the two minute warning and James has had a big game he's their leading receiver so far in this one ten seconds to the warning and five seconds I think we're just gonna go to the two we will so Pittsburgh has the ball three timeouts playing for the game down four points. All right, we're back. We're in the final stretch here as Pittsburgh tries to make up this four point deficit. They're near midfield, but Cleveland's been pretty tough on this part of the field. We'll see if they can continue once again. Three receivers for Ben. Bell behind him. Roethlisberger surveys. Throws. And they're going to say it was complete. Second and inches upcoming. It was Juju Smith-Schuster with the catch. And the clock stops at 1 minute 56 seconds. Second and inches. God, look at that ball. It's over the line right now. <laughs> oh, geez. Roethlisberger hits Bryant, who's got the first. So they elect to move the chains instead of take the deep shot. 
but they will hurry back to the line. Same formation. Ben. Rolls right, steps up, runs up the field, and slides down at the 25. And they're going to hurry back to the line. So Cleveland had a touchdown in a similar fashion. Ben's matching him as he throws over the middle to Bryant, and the ball falls incomplete. So one minute, 21 seconds left on the clock. Pittsburgh at the, at the Cleveland 25. And they have time now to think about this next play. Let's see what they're able to draw up. Roethlisberger is going to throw. Steps up. He's taken down for a sack. Critical sack at this point in the game. Loss of two, third and 12. Huge third down. Roethlisberger throws. He's got Hunter, who's got the first. And he stops the clock. Perfect play for Pittsburgh. And their first and goal for the first time tonight. And you just got a feel for the Browns right now. Unless you're a Steelers fan. But it. You're anybody that wants to see the Browns actually get one. Get some wins. This guy this has to be gut wrenching to watch. Under center in the eye is Ben. Flag down. It looks like a false start. False start offense. First and goal from the fourteen now. So they overcame a third and 12. Let's see if they can overcome a goal to go from the 14. They break huddle. Clock is stopped. They have all the time in the world to survey this defense before they snap. Ben to Bell. And they're just going to run it, try and run some clock off. As they hurry back to the line. Let's see what they do here. Roethlisberger rolls to his right. Runs up the field. And he's tackled at the two. So it's going to be third and goal from the two. This is it. Under 40 seconds, this is the game. Roethlisberger throws. Nearly intercepted. And that brings up fourth down. Kind of sails it a little bit, and the ball was right in his hands, but he dropped it. That would have potentially sealed the game. Instead, the Killer Bees will have one more shot. And they're going to come out in a running set. And pr some movement pre-snap. I think the center forgot the snap count. So fourth and goal now from the seven. This just got a lot tougher for the Steelers. 33 seconds left. Alone in the backfield is Roethlisberger. He's going to throw. And he had Ridley, but Ridley dropped it. He had the ball in his hands. But the hit knocked it loose, and he sort of dropped it. He was open. Wow. Look at that. He just couldn't hold it on that last little knockdown. And the Browns will come out and try and get a first down and seal this victory. They're starting from the seven. So maybe if Pittsburgh can somehow force a safety and get down and score a field goal, they can win the game still. 
but 28 seconds left. That's a tall task. We'll see what they can do here. As Cleveland comes out in a running formation, predictably, and Kaiser's under center. Kaiser to Crowell. And Crowell gets about three, and Pittsburgh has to burn its first time out. 24 seconds left as the Browns try and run the clock out and preserve it. All right, we're back. And Cleveland is trying to run out the clock now. This would be the biggest upset of Madden Madness. Probably. <laughs> it, it, might, it might stand the rest of the way. 10 to 6, Cleveland. You couldn't buy a win to save their life. Now just has to run out the clock. Kaiser to Crowell. And Crowell takes a big hit for a gain of one. And third and seven now. So third and seven. We're back. And... Cleveland can either run out the clock with this next play or Pittsburgh's going to have a shot at some Hail Mary attempts. We'll see how conservative they are with this play. 21 seconds left. Pittsburgh with one timeout to burn. I would be very surprised if they even tried to run a screen. I would not throw the ball in this situation. Four receivers. Kaiser. He's going to throw. Third down. Throws it deep down the field. Incomplete. And Pittsburgh preserves a timeout. Fourth and seven. And Cleveland will punt with 16 seconds left. So now Pittsburgh will be able to take a timeout and per if they can get a deep ball to be completed we'll see what happens Cole quit punting out of his end zone kicks deep caught at the 27 by Brown and Brown slips a defender seven seconds left he's dropped down at the 42 so Pittsburgh can get maybe 20 yards on this next play and then maybe take a shot in the end zone that's the best guess that I have for Pittsburgh. They might just elect to throw Hail Marys. Bunch set of receivers to Ben's right, out wide. Roethlisberger rolls to his right, throws deep down the field toward the end zone. And the Hail Mary falls incomplete, and the Steelers lose. They lose 6-10, to 10, and the Browns have two wins in a row now. They're moving on to the third round. So they weren't able to get many third down conversions, but they were able to get the W, and that's all that matters. Let's take a look at the standings. the Browns will play the winner of the Titans and the Texans. Can the Browns go all the way? We'll see what happens. But for now, thanks for watching guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Leave a comment and like the video. Show some love for the Browns, right? Alright. So that's the score. Browns move on. Winning 10... For Phantom, this is Phantom saying, have a good one.